To open up a brand new chart inside of NinjaTrader 8, the first thing you will want to do is go to your NinjaTrader control center, like you see here, and go to the top toolbar where it says new and select chart. Once you select new and then chart, enter in the instrument that you wish to look for charting opportunities. Let's go ahead and from this section here, just type in NQ. We are looking to trade on the NASDAQ symbol. I'm going to type in the MNQ, which is micro e-mini NASDAQ futures. And when you double click this, you will see that it's going to load on with the expiration date that's current to Ninja Trader. It's a good idea to make sure you understand the expiration dates because you might be in a period where you might have to roll over a contract. So maybe you will have to load into the June 2024 contract if you wish to do a future one or if it's getting near that point. It's a good idea to understand your expiration dates. For this example though, we're just gonna do the current one, which is the March 2024 contract. After that, if you have any predetermined layouts set up, you just click from here at the drop down box and you can put in whatever you would like it to be. I set this to none, just so this way we don't have any templates loaded and we can create the charts that we would like to have. Below that, this is where we enter in the information for the chart that we would like to load. I like to have my price based on last and then type, this is where we can change what time frame we would like this to be. Right now, this is set to daily, meaning if I want every one of those candles to represent one day of data, I change this to value one. And that would mean when a chart loads, every one of the candles represents one day of data. If I want to do it, maybe say to month, well, if I set that value to one, that means every candle loaded will be one month of data loaded to a chart. I like to do it in 60 minute intervals. So I want each candle to represent 60 minutes. So I'm going to change type to minute and value to 60. 60 minutes equals one hour. So every candle that populates to a chart will be a one hour candle. After that, we have load data based on, I like it set to days. And then for days to load, this is how much data I would like to have. If I want less data, I'll make it a smaller number. I only want five days of data, or maybe I want 180 days of data loaded to a chart. So we have 180 days of historical information on the chart relating to the one hour time frame. Put the end date, I like to do today's dates, and then you can change your trading hours. And one of the things I like to do is have my break at end of day box checked. So this way it sets that new session on the chart. For charting style, you can select from the drop down box. I like to leave it set to candlestick, but you can change it to any of these figures here. And then for everything else, I set this to the normal levels of what the charting platform gives us. I like to set the bar width to three, candle body outline is solid black, candle wick is solid black. And then for my bearish candles, I like to color them crimson. And for my up bars or my bullish candles, I like to color them sea green. Name, candlestick, I just leave it set to that. And then under visual, auto scale, I leave checked. Center price on scale is unchecked. Data in price box is checked. And then this is the label. I like to have this match up to what the contract that I'm on. Panel, I want it to be on the first panel because that's where everything will be located. For price marker, I like to leave that set to black. Scale justification, I like that to be scaled right. Uh, show global draw objects checked. And then the trading hours break line, I typically leave that set to just the gray level. Uh, that's default in here. After that, we have all of the trades that we want to have displayed. So color for executions for buys will be blue or for execution sell will be red. And then if we have any strategies, it'll color where the profit would be uh, where you have the ninja script profit objective and then also as well uh, the strategy unprotected so I leave those to the default levels and then for plot executions this is going to be if I would like to have any of those plots on my chart if I place a trade do I want to have it just markers do I want to have markers in text or do I want to not plot anything 
So if I'm looking to see, hey, I want to know when my entry was, when my exits were, I'll set that to text and marker. If it mucks up my charts and I don't really want it on there, then I'll select from the drop down box, do not plot. I'll go ahead and set this to text and marker, click OK. And once everything is set up, you will see now, here's all the information related to the chart of my choosing based on the parameters that I entered in on that previous field.